This tutorial will teach you how to insert and modify text on iBooks Author. First, you must insert a text box. To do so, you may go to Insert at the top of your screen and select Text Box. Another way to insert a text box is to go to your main toolbar and select the text box option. Now, a text box will appear on your page. To move the text box around, simply click your cursor inside it and drag the box to your selected destination. You can enlarge this text box by selecting one of the corners and dragging it out. To insert your own text, click your cursor inside the text box on the computer-generated text and hit delete. Next, type your text. To modify the font, highlight your text, go to the top of your page, to your main toolbar, and select your font on the left-hand side. Or, you can do the same thing by using the Format drop-down menu from the iBooks Author toolbar. You can also change the font style and size in the boxes directly next to the font on the main toolbar. Also located on the main toolbar is your font color options. To change your font color, highlight your text, click the color box to the right of the other font options, and select a color. Next to font color is background color. This is the box with an A with a line through it. To make your text bold, underlined, or italicized, highlight the text and click whichever option you would like by going to the main toolbar and using the buttons to the right of font color. Alignment and spacing are also located on the main toolbar. To change the alignment, simply click your cursor inside the text box and select your alignment choice. The boxes show you where the text will be aligned. To change the spacing, click your cursor inside the text box and use the button with two lines and an arrow on the main toolbar. If you would like your text to be displayed in multiple columns, you can select the number of columns on the main toolbar. Finally, if your text is a list, you can organize it by clicking the button all the way to the right of your main toolbar. For more iBooks author tutorials, visit ecjournal.com slash DIYjournal.